I would always start with like figuring out what the container is and then not just like making the graphics that fill the container but like conceptualize the project in a way that it's like in the end it, that the container helps you figure out what to make for the project as well as the book. The architects almost always tend to think of the interrelated scale of the objects that are going to be represented. Like it's like a, a person and a kind of like thing and a table and a building, right? That's like their scale relationship. And designers always think of like how big is the page? How big is the picture on the page? They're not thinking like they're not thinking of the scale in the real world. They're thinking of the scale of the scale of representation, like if that happens in a book or a poster or whatever. And, it, and so, like good designers learn to kind of understand the scale of real things. Like if there's a guy in the picture and there's another guy in another picture, like what's the relationship of those those scaled objects on a page? Not just like how big is the picture, right? And good architects basically learn that it's not just okay to have kind of these things that are in relationship to each other because they have to go into some vehicle so that somebody can see it or read it or watch it on TV. So that you, it's almost like adding another scale awareness on from design kind of to, to kind of the real world or the physical world and from architecture to the kind of uh, re-represented world or the published world. Yeah, how does a good question is like how does the increased awareness of publishing begin to affect the things that architects make. You have different relationships, right? Like you have relationships of the, the object that's going to be in the pictures or diagrams to the format of the pages or the book or the poster or whatever. But you also always have this fairly limited relationship of the object to the person who's going to look at it too. So, you know, like there's a paperback, there's a a kind of monograph size, there's a coffee table book, there's the enormous Mahali, uh, you know, like, kind of book that's like too enormous to even read on your table, you need like two people to turn the, ta the pages. And so, there's, it's not just a, as simple as I was saying, like, where there's where the relationship of the thing represents to the book, there's also like, there's also a really concrete relationship to people that happens with any of those things. And that, that's another scale of relationship that you come across right away.